Hey folks, it's Rob from Frugal Radio here and uh, I thought I would just talk to you a little bit about uh, what I do on an evening whenever the sun is shining and it's nice outdoors and, uh, and someone's given me an old electrical cable that is frayed. So let me show you what I mean by that first and uh, then we'll talk about what we're going to do with it. Okay, so this is the cable that I've been given and if you have a look, you'll see that the ends have been, uh, well, they've uh, had some damage on them. So basically what I've decided to do with this, uh, obviously I could repair that and uh, put a new end on it, but I don't need this cable. So what I'm going to do is turn it into an HF antenna. So this will become a nice uh, shortwave long wire. Uh, basically I'm going to turn it into a dipole. That's my plan at this point. So uh, come and join me for the journey and we'll show you how to make a good frugal shortwave antenna. I actually don't know how long this antenna is, or sorry, the uh, electrical cord is, that's going to become the antenna, so it's just there. I've decided to measure it out, uh, so the tape measure there is uh, is set for one meter of length, so I'm going to count out and see just how long this cable actually is, and then I'll know what I can make it resonant on for uh, shortwave frequencies. So I measured out the cable and it's approximately 30 meters in length. So uh, there's three strands in there. So that gives me actually 90 meters of wire. I could do a multitude of different things with that, but actually I'm going to make a fairly small antenna uh, since it's going to be a dipole. I think I'll just do 10 meters on each side. So a total length of 20 meters, which should work well for the 20 meter handband and the 40 meter handband. And, and maybe I should get some reception on 80 meters too, plus a bunch of other uh, general shortwave monitoring. So we'll see how that goes. Let's, uh, let's jump right in. Here you can see the three strands of electrical cable that made up the uh, extension cord. So I'm going to use two of these since I have cut it at 10 meters long. That means I'll have a, a 20 meter antenna, so uh, each being one half of the dipole. The third one I'll just save for now. And what I'm going to do next is just remove this uh, extra material that keeps everything bound together when it's in that in the plastic insulator. So we'll get it cleaned up and uh, see where we go from there. So I've now removed the third wire and just have the two electrical wires now and I've just stripped the ends because we're gonna want them stripped of course for uh, attaching to some coax or in my case, I'm gonna attach it to a ballon. So let's get on with the next bit. The ballon I'm using is just the Nuelec Bare Bones uh, version two and it cost me less than 15 US dollars so I figured that was worth experimenting with. So here I've got my two lengths of wire 10 meters each side for a total of 20 meters and I'm just plugging them into this part of the Nuelec uh, ballon so this will allow me to easily make it into a dipole. I've already uh, screwed in the first one and I'm now going to screw in the other side so equal length for the dipole. I'll uh, screw that in there and then we'll be able to continue on. And this is the Nuelec ballon that is providing the signal. So the antenna wires just go straight into that section and uh, then goes through that little transformer and the, uh, the wire there is just running inside. In fact, I like to just keep this tucked in there. Just keeps it out of the way, uh, usually. In fact, what I did yesterday, just tuck it in right the way so it's uh, away from the elements. So we have this green wire and it literally is just honestly being held up by <laughs> the burn barrel. And uh, I just actually tied, just wrapped it around a little bit there, as you can probably see. Um, and that's all there is to, to that leg of it. Similarly, the, uh, the other side is just running into these trees. So rather than it being actually a straight dipole, here you can see the black line going across. Uh, it's more like a V-shape and it goes up and again is just tied onto a tree up here. Uh, very suboptimal conditions because it's actually low lying. It's, I mean, I'm standing higher than any part of the antenna right now. So it's not going to be fabulous, but it's a leftover bit of electrical cable and I bet we can pick up something with it. Let's go see. So that's the and no like ballon up there, you can just about see it. And I just have some uh, RG 
174 coax. Let's see. Uh, hooking it up to the Air Spy HF uh, Plus Discovery unit, which in turn is connected via USB 3 to the laptop. And as you can see, there are signals on the screen there on 40 meters. So we'll, uh, we'll look a bit closer.
then you'll love the podcasts available from CBC, like Brainwashed. Their objective was to wipe my memory. Evil by design. Peter Nygaard is the most prolific sexual of the funds that we had. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. That is awesome. Now, you, but you being a nerd, what was hard for you? It, it seems like... Partly cloudy, 30% chance of showers, a low of 16. Tomorrow, mainly sunny, a high of 28. Into Monday, we'll see some sunshine all the way up to 30. Friends, Albert, we've got a uh, sunny day today, then a mix of sun and cloud late this afternoon with the risk of a... For those only wanting Pfizer, Alberta Health says it expects roughly 280,000 doses next week and more in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, it won't be setting aside Pfizer doses for those aged 10. In addition, the timeshare owners claim Westgate fails to adequately train and supervise its sales agents... Well, I hope you've enjoyed the little video that I made for you today. Uh, it's quite easy to make an HF antenna and it's amazing how far you will receive signals from with a simple wire antenna. Using the balance helps uh, to balance the signal a little more, but you don't even have to use that. So have fun experimenting. You don't have to spend a lot to receive from far away. This is uh, Rob from Frugal Radio. I'm glad you joined me today. As for now, I'm going to say over and out.